Hello everybody, Ian Robson here for another episode of Spring Hill Valley. <laughs> All right, we've got a couple things going on today. Uh, what do we have going on today? I believe, let me just double check if I remember correctly. Yes, we planted, no we didn't plant these two fields, 25 and 24. Did we own those? I don't remember. No, I think that was a, those are the two new ones we bought a while back. I haven't even done anything with them yet. Uh, so we have the Master Ferguson down here. So might as well grab it at the moment. I think the John Deere is somewhere around close or relatively close with the 24, 20, oh, 24 and 25 are these ones. So we have planted 24 then. Or no, maybe we haven't. Maybe I just cultivated it? I don't remember. I'm pretty sure I seeded it. I don't know what happened here. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, so it has been seeded. I thought so. Thought I was losing my mind there for a second. And apparently it hasn't there's any growth though at all in 25. Why does this look so strange? Oh well. In 25, well, it's right across the field, so we might as well just uh, just take a little jaunt over there, anyways, and do that up. Mainly because we have 24 planted, we might as well plant 25 too. It's right here, so we'll get this done. Then we'll accelerate time a little bit. All right, let's get this GPS mod rolling. This is a nice square field, looks like. This is good. Uh, let's see if we can't line this up a bit better here. That should be a bit better. There we go. Uh, turn it on, lower it down. There we go. Get this little field planted. Shouldn't take too much. It's a little small field, so it'll take maybe, I don't know, four or five passes. I'm totally going to run right through that scarecrow, though. I'm not sure what the purpose of it is. Just to get in the way, I'm sure. All right. And this is, uh, by the way, this is still the same amount of barley I put in initially I haven't changed I haven't added any extra at all um, just to give you an idea that's a tree and got out of the tree all right that's a random place for a tree right in the corner I don't know if this was my field I probably would uh, I probably would take that tree out I'm not gonna lie to you right there in the corner jeez anyhow I think this is the one field I didn't. I said I wasn't going to plant because it was too small, but now looking at it, it's not terrible. And that is a ledge that I cannot drive over in. Alright. Let's see if we can't turn around at the very least. There we go. Perfect. That's a. Oof. That's quite a drop. Jeez. And also, this articulated tractor is a little bit annoying sometimes for these turns. Not always, but a little bit. I do like it, though. I might, uh... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Apparently, I'm failing at backing up today. I might uh, incorporate uh, the indoor sound script on this. I don't know. Uh, I don't use it half... It's not that loud in here, to be honest with you. Um, so it's not a huge deal, but if it... There are some other ones that really, really are loud, and this one definitely is not that loud, so it's not terrible, but there are some things that uh, you don't, of course, want to change, as always. Actually, really cool, if you if you want to see something really interesting, really cool, uh, David Oldfield uh, over at OEB Modding, he actually modded, there was a different version of a Massey Ferguson that came out that was similar to this, and he actually modded it, so now it's like a, I think it's, he, he made it a John Deere, John Deere. A Massey Ferguson 5000 or something. It's like a, not a real tractor. It just looks really cool. So uh, if you're curious about that, check out his channel, David Oldfield. A uh, really cool little thing. And one of the reasons why I really like watching him is just because he is a modder and he does add, change things up and actually mod things to his preference, which is really cool. I find it really cool, at least. So, anyways. Let's turn up here. Lift that up. Don't fall down the edge. And let's line this guy up. 
This might have been better with a, uh, a non-articulated tractor, I don't know. It's hard to say, really. Alright, sweet. I'm not gonna get all this field, I know that for sure. I don't really care about that too much. As long as I get the majority of it, I'm happy. Which would be like, what, one, two more passes maybe? Luckily you can drive through these trees at the end here. I don't know, I don't think you would actually, you probably, I don't know. I'm trying to think what you would actually use in this scenario. You probably wouldn't use a pull behind cedar like this. This is a little bit big, I think, for most of England. But you probably, well, not maybe most of it, but some places. This map, I guess. Uh, you, I imagine you'd probably use something like um, a three-point hitch one. Oh, you can just drive through it anyways. Uh, which would make a lot more sense in this scenario. Like a three-point hitch one would allow you the uh, versatility to actually uh, make some of those turns way easier than what I'm having to do. So I got this huge unit behind me. Anyhow. Let's see if we can't get this. There we go. Oh, I'm butchering this field. Yeah. This is, this is definitely a field not to use this one on. We're going to have most of it seated, mind you, but definitely not all of it. I'll have to do a little uh, fixing up at the end there. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, so uh, mess around this map a little bit. I think I'm deci I've am i decided to uh, cut it at 15, as I mentioned the last time around. Some people suggested to go to 20, but... I'm gonna cut it at 15, and like I said, the main reason why is because a lot of people are playing this map at the same time, so it's a bit overplayed, that's what I'm trying to get at. I had some good suggestions for maps already. I had uh, one person suggested a map called Landvira Canal, which is uh, by the same guy who did the Two Rivers map, which is, actually check the map out, it's a pretty solid map actually. It has uh, some really cool mods on installed on it, I think it has the Soil mod, which is a Interesting new mod that came out not too long ago. It's got a couple other ones too. So definitely a cool ma a cool map to check out. Excellent. So that's all the fields. And we have just four liters left of barley. So that'll be uh, used for something, I suppose. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. So let's get this Massey Ferguson out of here. That's going to be in the way because this is the only thing I use it for at the moment. I know, uh, what's his name, Randy from uh, R.D. Allen, this is his YouTube name, or YouTube handle, but I believe his name is Randy. He used this tractor to uh, bail hay and straw, which is kind of cool. He, he mentioned in his Let's Play that you would probably wouldn't normally use an articulated tractor for that type of thing, but um, it's just a nice tractor, so he wanted to use it, which I totally understand. Which is partially the reason why I'm using it here. But it is a bit silly, as uh, you just saw there. Especially when you have a bad driver at the helm, right? So stuff like that tends to happen when you have a, a bad driver. So, Or when you are a bad driver, I should say. Alright. I do admit, though, this is a pretty map. And I might did a great job on it. I've just discovered it's not my style specifically. Like, I do enjoy it playing on it, but... I'm just not used to playing on smaller maps. Like, well, this isn't a really small map, but let's say narrow passageway type maps. I don't know. It does make it more challenging and realistic, I suppose, but steering wheel probably would be preferable. Like, I've, I was watching uh, Scottish Gaming Guys earlier on today, and he has a steering wheel. It's completely obvious, because he just like rockets through the, the lanes without any problem. Um, because he has a steering wheel and, the, and the he makes the turns look effortless basically and then here I am trying to not uh, like that trying not to uh, to crash and burn essentially so all right where are we here let's just drive straight through here. this is funny I think that's like the first time I've actually driven straight through there um, but I think T I see TCGG Rob do it all the time. I guess on Spring Hill that was one of the quick ways of getting around too, so... Well, uh, the original Spring Hill I'm referring to. I am just gonna drive straight through this section here because trying to do it... Uh, yeah. Yep, definitely gonna just drive straight through. Not worth stopping. 
All right. So what I need to do now is I'll just do like I did last time. There we go. Just pull it through here. Excellent. Perfect. All right. So let's just check in our fields. 14, 14 and 15. Oh, what's happened here? 37. I don't know. I am I must be one of the maps I installed, but that's why it looks so strange. I'm like, why does this feel look so big? See how the numbers are all bunged up together here? That must be because I have another map installed. Because um, that's 37 over there. 14, 15, this is, this is 15, 17s right here. Yeah, it must be the other map I installed. I was trying out that Landwehr Canal map, and that must be the one that's doing this. Unless it's, it could be another map, who knows? Or another mod I installed. Could be anything, really. All right, what are we doing? We are accelerating time so we can get this field. A little bit of hip waiting there. All right, so we have this field. Let's accelerate time a little bit and see what happens in the morrow. Field looks like it's just get hard, just ripening up there. It doesn't matter actually. Now that I think about it, I forgot there's no withering on this map, so apparently I missed a huge chunk right here. Whoops. Excellent. So that is ready. Now I can just speed up time. Everything will be ready. There we go. That's probably an appropriate time. Something like that. There we go. Perfect. Now we have this all ready to go. Sweet. Still only have 18% wool. I thought we would have more of that by now, but I guess that's what happens in an accelerated day. All right. So our hayfield right there is not quite ripe yet, and neither is that down there, but we don't own that anymore, so it's not a big deal. But, uh, that's not ripe either. I suppose what we could do is I could just uh, start here, might as well. Doesn't really make a difference. There we go. Alright, now where's our Unimog? Let's grab the header trailer. Oh, you know what I'm going to have to do, now that I realize this? The header is not in the trailer anymore. Ugh. Some people, some are, uh, I forget who was in the comments. Someone was saying that I should, uh, I shouldn't use the, uh, the original header trailer we started off with on this map because it looks like a boat trailer. Uh, but there's a very specific reason why I like using that one, and it's because stuff like this. So see how this has come detached. That's a core header, anyways. But where is the? Maybe it's not there. Maybe it's not detached then. But. It becomes detached if it's not uh, if it's not attached to a vehicle, and blocking script I think just drops. So let's go over here where I think our other header trailer is, I think, and then we'll grab this one over here. And luckily this is a four-wheel drive; we'll just drive over the fence there. But yeah, I haven't decided what map to go to next. This is episode 14. So, if you have any suggestions, by all means, suggest away. Yeah. Alright then. That's not helpful at all. Guess I'll have to reset that. I forget why I did that. Oh well. Anyhow, yeah, so give me some suggestions. I'm kind of curious as to where, uh, where we should go to. I have two maps in particular. If you give me a good suggestion, uh... If you give me a good suggestion that outshines the one I'm, the ones I'm thinking about, by all means I'll move to it. But there's um, a couple particular maps uh, I would like to check out. Land Vida Canal is definitely one of them now. I checked that out earlier on today. It looks really nice. Uh, I want to go into the cow pasture here. Uh, that one it looks really nice, so it's definitely one I'm gonna probably take a serious look at. And there's a couple other ones I'm thinking of, so. Let me know what you think. Alright, let's grab this right here. You know what the silly thing is? I have to reset that combine now. I don't want to drive it all the way back here. And the reason being is because I can't pick up the header without the combine. And I can't drive the combine anywhere with the header on it, I don't think. Painful, I know. Alright, anyways, let's reset those guys. Uh, that, and let's reset that. I need gas anyways, so or fuel I should say. So this is the only fuel area. Well, I guess I could have fueled up in their area, but 
uh, what's probably the safest way of getting to the fuel? Ooh. Maybe reversing? I have no idea. Yeah, reversing seems like it's the safest way. That's ridiculous. I guess this does make it slightly more maneuverable doing it this way, but... Jeez. <laughs> Excuse me. It does make it slightly more maneuverable, I suppose. But uh, it does look kind of silly. But it works, I suppose. I almost said AFK there for a second. Ha! <laughs> That's too funny. But on team speak a little bit, so... I keep thinking, when I go to get a drink of water or something, I keep th thinking they say AFK and then go and get a drink of water, but I have a drink here already, so it doesn't make a difference if I say AFK. That would be pretty ridiculous. You might say, like, alright, I'll be back in a second, walk away from the computer. Doesn't work that nicely, that's for sure. Uh, uh, well, that's enough fuel, I guess. Uh, let's just go the same way we came, because that seems to be the safest. There we go. It's funny, I drove a lawnmower that had this roof steering on the back like this once. It's really strange. Especially if you're not used to it, that's for sure. Alright, where's that Unimog? Here we go. And the silly thing is, I'm just, if I'm here now, I might as well just start in those fields back there. So I basically have to drop it on the trailer and take it off immediately. Which is a bit silly. But it is what it is. Let's get this on here. Let me do this before I forget about it. Alright. Let's get off the railing there. That's close enough. No, it's not. If it's not if it's not close enough, this is the one thing I don't like about this trailer. You really gotta put it on there properly or else if it's it's gonna fall off. Even if you're going a short way. There we go. Perfect. Now, let's just back up this combine onto this field over here, and then we'll be good to go. Actually, there's one more thing I think we should do. I totally forgot about this. And now that I'm thinking about it, it's a good idea now. Alright, let me just back this up down here. Good as place as any. With the parking brake on, because we're on a, uh, a hill there. I don't know if I actually need to relock that or not, but we did it anyways. Oh, I was like, what is that sound? I was driving, I'm like, oh, what is that sound? It's the New Holland. Really? You couldn't make that turn? Give me a break, Unimog. Jeez. Alright, what about this now? Still. I thought this had a better turning circle. It doesn't. I probably would have been better off with a tractor, to be honest with you. Uh, it's nice to drive, but on this map, eh, it's a little bit rough sometimes. But it does work well with this header trailer, that's for sure. Alright, now, let's just take a little bit of a UE here, or try to take a UE at least. Well, I didn't want to drive in the crops, but it's going to take forever if I don't. Alright, here we go. Release the handbrake. Alright, let's line up here a little bit. Try not to go into the drink. Oh, that was close. Alright, let's get this. There we go. Just unlock that trailer. And now the Unimog is going to be stuck. It's funny, have you, if you ever seen Austin Powers, so often I feel like I'm in the little vehicle Austin Powers gets into. When he's in like, he's in like a laneway. Let me just demonstrate because it's pretty easy to do this. So. There's a little part of Austin Powers where he is in like a little layman right this. And he gets stuck somehow, so he's like this. And he's trying to turn around, so he's like... This is what he's doing. And he's doing a turn like this. He's doing a three-point turn, but it's not exactly a three-point turn because he doesn't have enough space. But this is what he's doing in like the segment. And he's like just going back and forth. And he's trying to get... I think he's trying to get away or something at that particular scene. Anyways, that's what I feel like all the time with this thing. It's like, oh. Ding, 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 ding. Anyways, you could stay there. What? Whoa, easy, buddy. Jeez. Talk about sneaking up on somebody. <laughs> Alright, I guess I should reset that Unimog then. There you go. Anyways, uh, there's one other thing I wanted to do. 
And of course, that is buy a new trailer. I've been talking about doing this for a while, and I just keep forgetting about it, to be honest with you. Oh, other random thing, that Land Vidra Canal uses uh, the forestry mod as well. I'm not so jazzed about the forestry mod, as others, other people are, but it seems cool at least. All right, tippers. What do we have? Could get a flygle. I don't think our, I don't think we have any trackers that can really handle a flygle. To be honest with you, uh, that's actually not true. Uh, our John Deere probably could. Uh, the flygle or the Fortuna, which is thirty-three. The GMC, no. Uh, these would work well, but not really European. I don't think. I don't think, at least. Let me know if they are. I don't know. Are do 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 you Europeans use these grain carts like this? I'm guessing you don't, but I have no idea. Well, we could use this actually. Uh, that has uh, it's a little too big though. I think it's gonna be too long. I don't know. This is the difficult part. Trying to find a decent trailer. Uh, what else do we have? I don't think we have any ones that are really. Well, this is a. Uh, how much does this hold? 21,000. This is a recent trailer that just came out not too long ago, so and I haven't actually tried it out very much. Uh, that's a silent trailer. Yeah, I guess uh, 21,000. How much does the other one hold? I think it's only like 16 or something. I want something a bit bigger than that, actually. But that is a nice... Eh, what the heck, let's get it. Where's the John Deere? All the way over here? Well, John Deere. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Nope. Didn't I just uh, reset you, like, twice? That was weird. Really? Did I reset the John Deere? What the heck? Oh, you know what it is? It's probably at the other place. Okay, apparently we just... So, I just found a dupe bug. There you go. So now we have two of these fence here. That, that's not the first time that's happened. I think it happened one more time, but uh, there you go. So we just randomly bought another tractor. So there you go. There's one. And then the other one is just down here now. Jeez, that's ridiculous. Yeah, so we just bought a new tractor randomly. Not really, but... So yeah, I guess that one doesn't like when you get reset. It kind of doubles up. And I don't want that one. I want this one. There we go. Let's grab that trailer. Actually, uh, who was I watching today? Was it uh, WBF, I think it was. WBF Gaming, I think he was using the same setup, now that I think about it. Uh, but he was on, uh, what was it called? Chelling, uh, Chellington or something like that. There we go. And that looks not too bad. Warning sheet over. Oh, you can put that over? Okay, that's kind of cool. I don't know why more mods don't have that ability. And I think the little... Yeah, they move. That's pretty sweet. Nice. There you go. So there's our new trailer. It's green. So it's nice. I like color green. <sighs> Just can't win. Alright, let's move this guy out of the way. Alright, what field is this? Field... Fifteen, I think it is. Uh, I don't want the straw because we have enough straw. Or is it that the other way around? Nope, that's the right way. Perfect. Maybe this is it. I can't tell. Wrong trailer. Of course, it's the wrong trailer. There we go. Oh, look at that. I'm surprised. Alright, so, that's doing that. Now let's get this set up here. Or out of the way. Yeah, I think it was WBF who was using the same setup with this John Deere 6150R uh, with this trailer. Um, I do like that. Like, that feature, I think, uh, the only other trailer I know that has that feature with the uh, Mudguards, I think, is the NA modding trailers, to be honest with you. Uh, 
that I know of, off the top of my head at least. Uh, let me just go up here, I guess. Yeah, see? So this is what happens when you re drive with a keyboard. And that combine's going hella fast. Whoa! We can slow him down by 10 kilometers, sure. That seems still fast, but... Yeah, so the reason why it was going so fast is because when you reset, it I think just returns to the uh, initial setting. Alright, so I don't think this has with the reels on the trailer, but we're going to find out in a second. Nope, doesn't appear to. Nice. It handles barley. I really should have checked that first. It does handle barley. This is good. Apparently I hit F2. Uh, where is it? Actually, we own three of these now. There's some. There's one other one somewhere else. Oh goodness. Uh, wide parallel axis chassis for stability. Sprung tandem axle. Hydraulic brakes. Sheet drawbar. Drawbar. I don't know what. What is the drawbar thing? X and B. I think it said. know what that's supposed to mean. Hmm. Oh well. Of course you're still full combine. You decided to drive off without me. Jeez. It's funny, I can't even get around the field once. I fertilize this and I can't. <laughs> it's funny though, you think about it, you can't get around the field once. No, I, I don't know, it's a small field. Maybe, uh, Oh, that's a nice plane too. Jeez, I'm pretty sure it was WBF. I can't remember off. It was either WBF Gaming or it was MDH maybe or something like that. I don't know. I can't remember who it was. But it's a cool trailer, so thanks for using it. I guess. <laughs> All right. Oh my goodness. This is such a. Maybe this one works in course play. I don't know. I'm pretty sure I updated to the new version of course play. Uh, the newest developer version, of course, but let me specify that, which is 5 point, or 0 0.529, 0 0.0529, um, let's just see, I'm curious, uh, the grain transport, combine and empty, well, let's just see if this works, oh, hey, it appears to work, covers, oh, that's interesting, that's a new feature, they made the covers automatic. So you can actually put the cover on or take it off. Wow, that's pretty sweet, actually. Uh, select manually, class dominator. No combine in reach? Well, let me tell you, friend. There's a combine in reach. Uh, that's pretty cool they have that feature now. I'm surprised. Because some of them... Uh, some... What are you doing? There we go. Uh, some have the ability and some don't have the ability. That was a pretty terrible turn, New Holland. Come on now. But apparently it works with course play. Of course, you wouldn't drive through the field like this, but I suppose I could be. The problem I ran into the first time, if you recall, the very first time I tried to use this combine in the field, the problem I ran into was hey, the pipe hits the trees. And uh, that's not cool. So. I, that's why we're going the opposite direction. Otherwise, you'd probably go the other way around, basically. Anyways, ugh. that's it for today, folks. Uh, episode number 14. You're just going to run into them, aren't you? 17. Oh, wow, I'm surprised he's able to somewhat stay along with him. Well, let's get out of here. Um, so this is episode 14 of Spring Hill Valley, uh, coming back for the last episode, next episode, episode 15, and then we'll change it up to a new map. Of course, please leave your suggestions in the comments section as to what map we might go to the next time round. I have two ideas already in my head, so if you can beat them, then we'll do that. Otherwise, we'll probably go one of those maps. And that's it for today, folks. My name is Ian Ross. This has been Spring Hill Valley. I will catch you guys later.